I would like to say something about the fact I put in shrooms immediately after doing a setup. Well, it's true, shrooms are more fragile as fishes are, but the organism of shrooms are completely different from an organism of a fish. It means you can't compare all stuff that's right for fishes with belongings for shrimps. Especially here in this topic it means shrimps handle the peaks of nitrite and ammonia during a cycle time of a tank in a completely different way than fishes do. Shrimps have another, a different kind of juice type of blood. Shrimps transport the oxygen in their blood in a different way fishes do. This means shrimps can deal with slightly peaks of ammonia or nitrite during a cycling in a better way than fishes do. I also can do it that fast because I know my shrimps. I use just healthy wheat. I use same soil. I use same water of same sewers. I use same conductivity, I use same deco and most important same temperatures. Then as a rule no shock maltings or anything like that will happen. It don't make sense to invest a lot of money and technical things that make you a belief that will help to breed worthy shrimps. That's an illusion. There is no stuff, no fluid, no technic things that will do the work for you. Investing money in healthy breeds and shrimps, the only way maybe to be successful in the longer run. Sheep shrimps for mass breeding are weak. They breed for a mound. They waste in the way I call steam breed means you push them with a lot of protein food to reach adulthood very soon to make more shrimps and more shrimps but this will be have impacts for the whole life and genetic that will transport it as well the most important thing you can give to your swim is time. Time to waste.
such a beautiful piece here. Oh my. <laughs>